This discount Darkhawk deck absolutely crushed an Infinity Conquest for us. I wanted to share this deck I found from Korean Marvel Snap player Owl God. Please give him a follow on Twitter and check out his original deck list in the description below. I did make one small change from his initial list and swapped out Rogue for Enchantress. In my testing, I didn't find myself needing Rogue very often, and in the situations that I did, I felt like Enchantress got the job done as well, with a little extra power to boot. One important note with this deck, it is heavily reliant on drawing Dark Hawk. If your opponent snaps and you don't have the Hawk in hand, get out of there. This deck is very flexible thanks to the discount capabilities of Ravona and Zabu, and allows us to protect them both with Mobius and to a lesser degree Cosmo. I found the most success saving Mystique and Darkhawk for a final turn play while stuffing their deck with rocks earlier in the game. Borg, Rockslide, and Absorbing Man are great for disruption while also boosting the power of your Hawk lying in wait. This is definitely a pricier list with inclusions like Iron Lad, Jeff, Mobius, Ravona, so don't feel like you need to play all of these cards to have success. Having most of them will do the job just fine, and you can swap things out, like maybe a Jeff for a Lizard. Maybe you even consider throwing in the recently buffed Psylocke to help smooth things out with Curve if you don't have Ravona. I highly encourage experimentation. Please feel free to tweak the deck to your own needs, like I did, and let me know how it works out for you. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the rest of the run now. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribing. I have a lot more stuff planned for the future, and I really appreciate all the support. Thanks a lot guys, and I'll catch you later. So while editing, I noticed that I had music playing during the stream, which gets picked up on the VOD, and it doesn't sound great, and I want to cut it up so it's a little shorter. What I'm deciding to do here is just kind of do a little summary as I speed through the footage here, maybe pausing on moments to highlight particular plays or some, provide some insight from the stream, but I'm going to condense this footage, make it a little more watchable, and if there's a particular game that I want you to see in full, I'll leave it intact. So thanks for understanding. If anybody knows how to separate audio from your VODs, from your streams, please feel free to leave a comment and let me know. I am still very much new to all of this and learning, so I appreciate all of the feedback and constructive criticism. Our first Infinity Conquest game was against someone who was using what appears to be a Pool 1 ongoing Spectrum deck. I'm not quite sure what they were thinking running this in Infinity Conquest. It seems like maybe they were doing some sort of challenge where they tried to win an Infinity Conquest with a Pool 1 deck. Uh, that's something I've actually considered doing as well, so I don't blame them for at least trying. It's just unfortunate that their run came to an end so early. I did have to retreat a few games earlier because we didn't draw Darkhawk. Like I said in the intro, this deck is heavily dependent on drawing Darkhawk, so if you don't have him, it's not worth the cubes, or at the very least, maybe you only go for two. In the following game, though, we did draw Darkhawk, so we make sure to snap, and we wind up getting the win because of that, taking four cubes off of them in game three, and from there, it was pretty smooth sailing. Games are going okay tonight. I went through my first run. I wanted to use my, uh, my Vampire Slayer deck, my Ravona discard deck, because everyone was saying it would be a dead deck after... Mobius came out, so I wound up going deep into the fourth game. I beat a Mobius deck, I beat a High Evo deck, and I beat a Destroy deck. And I unfortunately lost to another Mobius deck in game four, but uh, it performed a lot better than expected. And now I'm currently running Owl God's Dark Pond list here, which is good if you draw Dark Pond. It is very bad if you do not draw Dark. Stream went well, didn't get the Infinity Avatar. Aw, oh, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Sal's Pals, I like that. I, uh, I've been workshopping a name for the people who watch my stream. And how do you think about, uh, Parry's Fanalos? We can absolutely get a little more of me and a little less of the... ...game sound. Or the uh, music. Let's lower that a tad. Thank you, thank you, Paris Fanalos. I'm glad you like it. And thank you. I missed who followed me, uh, but I appreciate the follow. Thank you. I was looking elsewhere. So we have Darkhawk in hand. I think we're gonna snap here. Uh, this is looking pretty good for us. I don't know what they're. They looks like they're playing a pool one. Uh, ongoing Spectrum deck? 
Oh, you're the wife! The wife of Sal. Thank you, uh, Charmy, for the follow. Sal's a wonderful guy. Yeah, we're just gonna hit them with the Enchantress mid on the last turn. Lad is good, but I think Absorbing Man might be better. We're gonna Absorbing Man right here. Maybe they're doing some sort of challenge where they're trying to win an Infinity Ticket with a cool one deck? It's possible. I've, uh... I've certainly thought about doing stuff like that. Renslayer feels good in this deck. She actually felt better in Discard, but... She's nice with Mobius and the Mystique Darkhawk combo. Uh, I don't think she might be... I think she might be a little underutilized in this deck. Maybe if I had something like an Iron Man in here. I originally was running Rogue. I took her out for Enchantress just for a little more power. So I felt like if you didn't draw Darkhawk, you were pretty screwed. Um, but I think maybe an Iron Man might be worth it if we're going to keep Ravona in the deck. We're still working it out. This is this is Owl God's list. Um, I don't know if Iron Lad is worth it here. We could get Jeff. Get Mystique, which would be bad. Cosmo wouldn't be the worst. Ravona wouldn't be the worst. So I think we're going to Mobius, Lad. No, Lad. Wow, they really put all of their ongoings mid, knowing that I have Enchantress. I did it to them last game. Okay, Jeff is solid. Jeff is very solid. So we'll go Enchantress mid, Iron Lad right, sorry, Iron Lad left, Dark Hawk right. Or maybe we do Dark Hawk mid. Am I over committing? Or this goes down. This would be one. Yeah, I think this is fine. We're winning right. We'll be winning left. Yay. Blue Marvel. Steam. Um that goes down. We should tie left. Dark Hawk for the tiebreaker? Wow, that was close. That was real close. Victory. I chose to highlight that game because that was pretty close to seeing the full extent of what this deck can do. Granted, we didn't have all of the discounts we could have with Ravona, and we also didn't have the Mystique double the Dark Hawk, but Iron Lad hitting Jeff was huge for us. We had a lot of rocks in their deck with Absorbing Man, Rock Slide, and Korg, and of course we have the huge Dark, uh, dark Hawk getting helped out by the Enchantress as well. Big game. We did drop one later on, but we wound up closing it out in the game after that, and let's move on to game two. Game two was against a Cerebro 5 deck that also ran Eliath, and was quite an interesting matchup. Uh, I want to highlight a particular scene from this game to let you know that even Infinite Conquest players can make the dumbest of mistakes. I won't spoil it, I'll just let you watch the clip here. Enchantress them. Which is quite unfortunate. They have priority still. Huh. I think I have to float here, unfortunately. They throw down the Enchantress. Ravonas do stack up to minimum one. Wait! That was final turn? Why did I think that was turn four? Am I tripping? Yes, me, you were indeed tripping. I can't even begin to tell you what I was thinking when I made that play, or rather, what I was thinking when I didn't make that play, and thought I was better off floating and getting rid of the rocks. It said end game, it said final turn. I don't know. You just make mistakes sometimes. 
That being said, the first couple rounds we did ping pong back and forth, taking one cube off here and there, and I'll let you guys watch the final battle of this game right here. Mobius out early. Not that they have anything to challenge it. I guess wave. They won't be playing wave if uh, I got my Mobius out. Okay, Wakanda, not bad. Put Ravona in a different lane and hope that Silk goes over to Super Flow. Oh man. A hard game five loss, yeah. We've all been there. Best to just walk away sometimes. It's only turn three. Let's divide up our ongoings to avoid the Enchantress. Yeah, all good. I'm working on my second run of the night so far. My first run, I was playing my uh, Vampire Slayer deck, Ravona Discard. Because everyone was telling me that it wouldn't be good after Mobius. So I felt like I needed to try and prove the haters wrong. Unfortunately, they were right. Uh, not as right as they thought they were, though. Because the deck performed pretty well. Um... We beat a Mobius, we beat a Hyevo, and we beat a Destroy. Unfortunately, lost to another Mobius deck in Game 4. A lot of tough locations, a lot of bad RNG. So they're waving me. Uh, they see that I have Mobius down. The Lad hits the, Bone, or the Mystique, which copies the Zazu. Interesting. So they can only play one card. I can play whatever I want. Alright, I think we're gonna snap up this fool, right? We're gonna rock slide and uh, absorbing man here. Unfortunately, no Darkhawk, once again. I just cannot seem to draw this card when I need him the most, except for last game. That's definitely gonna be an Enchantress left. And I think they're probably not gonna be able to overcome that. Rocks and Pants, they don't draw what they want. I have priority, so Eliath doesn't matter. So we're gonna go for one of these, one of these, one of these. And that should do it. Yeah, one cost Darkhawk. Pretty nuts. Not to mention it's 14 power. And what do they got? Enchantress as well, it's not gonna matter. Is it Doom? GG's Jelly! Victory. Moving right along to game number three, we are faced up against a very interesting deck. I have not seen this one before. I don't know if someone made a video about this, because I've seen it a few different times in Conquest and Ladder. Didn't do too well for them. Let's see how it plays out. Dark Hawk can go nuts. Again with the collapsed mine. Just gotta let that rock, unfortunately. Alright. Uh, we have no... Now we can get in there with Jeff, so... have options. Uh, I guess we can get Mobius down now. Rock Slide Absorbing Man next turn. Well, that doesn't do anything for you. I think I should probably snap on that. Your Zabu is useless here. We're gonna Dark Hawk. We're gonna Absorbing Man. I'm sorry, we're gonna Rock Slide. Then we're gonna Absorbing Man. Really? The snap back? But they must have a Rogue or something. Which isn't the worst thing in the world, unless they're gonna do it right now. Like Cosmo them. Akia. Real. Huh. Um, I'm a little scared about the snap, so I'm gonna Cosmo to protect my Mobius just to be safe. He can. 
That's fine. Just to be safe. We can also throw a dark walk down there too. Wow. Big drag, okay. This is pretty dope. Uh, Jeff would be our best pull, otherwise... Yeah, I guess this is fine. Get some dirt cheap cards next. Alright. Aaron Morda into the Cosmo. There's the Jeff. Do we think they have a Doctor Doom? I don't know what the hell kind of deck this is. Nakia, Drax, Baron, Mordo. Uh, Darkhawk is huge. We'll go for it. Great. <laughs> uh, I think I lose the Doom. But I'm banking on the fact that they couldn't get into Sanctum. They could not. So, yeah, alright, that's, uh, that's an easy eight cubes against a very strange deck that happened to get to, ga to game three of, uh, Infinity Conquest here. With eight cubes in the bag, all we had to do was win one more. Unfortunately, it took a little longer than expected. We dropped the next round due to some poorly calculated math on Throne Room. I did not feel like doing it, it butt me in the ass, so we wrap things up in the following round. Moving on to game number four. Game number four was against a high evolutionary deck that focused on lowering our power with cards like Scorpion, Thing, and Spider Woman. This way their Abomination would be dirt cheap and they could play that with something like a Hulk on the final turn. This was a very close set of games. We went back and forth for the first four rounds, each dropping a cube, playing very, very conservatively until we both decided it was time to go nuts in the high stakes round. Let's take a watch. Hmm. This kind of favors them. No one drops, alright. We do have Dark Hawk. That is good for us. Unfortunately, we're both struggling in the one drop department. Look at that. It's like it was meant to be, Breadsticks. It was meant to be. Uh, I think we have to do the rock slide. There's their Cyclops. Uh, I don't think either of us are getting this wrath. I guess I have to try, right? I'm not gonna get it. Um, I need a two drop, please. We got the two drop. So we can go ahead and do this. We'll be able to Dark Hawk and Iron Lad last turn. They got a lot of rocks in their hands, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. But I want to snap back. It's all going to come down to what our raft cards are. Uh, I'm gonna lose left. Which is also something else to consider. But I'm also able to output a lot more power than they are. We won't snap back, we'll stick around. Doctor Doom. Not great when we have a lane locked up. They're definitely winning left. By a lot. It's Mobius. Okay. Darkhawk's 14. We have a 1 in 3 chance of hitting our Mystique with Iron Lad. They have priority, so Enchantress doesn't matter. It's gonna be Darkhawk, it's gonna be Iron Lad, and it's gonna be Doctor Doom. 14, so 19 here, and potentially a lot more there. Are we going for 8? We don't know what they're free card is. It could be something completely useless. Doctor Doom's not our best card, unfortunately, but this is a lot of power. Korg also isn't the worst hit here, but we really want the Mystique. We're going for it. It's 
Apom. It's a big ass Hulk. We need this to be the Mystique. It's the Mystique, but I still don't think it's enough. Is it enough with the Doom? 20? 5? 1 point victory! Good game. Wow. The 1 in 3 to hit the Mystique. That was the only way we could have won that. Unless we also played the uh, Dark Hulk with the Iron Man. But damn. One point. Wow. So that just went from four straight games of bing, 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 shipping off one, 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 and then the ultimate super move for eight cubes. Wow. You know, that kind of luck doesn't normally come often for me, so when it does, it feels really good. And sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. It just so happened to work out in our favor, and that allows us to advance the final round of Infinity Conquest. I needed to make sure I had a different avatar on, my Captain America already had the Infinity Border. So we're going into the last set of games here. Let's see how this all plays out. Let's get it. It's water. Going up against the Hood Avatar. Ojo 93. Alright. Not quite anime victory music, but it's close enough. Jotunheim, not great for us. Strange Academy, not great for us. We'll go with the Zabu. Uh, we have a lot of things to put in our pants right now. They haven't played a card yet, which means they probably haven't had good draw. I'm thinking we snap here. This way, if they're trying to get intel on us, they're gonna have to pay. And we will rock slap. Very risky to snap without the Dark Hawk, but I'm hoping we draw him in three minutes. Alright, playing a Patriot deck. And I just gave him rock. We're going to try and win this. Our Enchantress is going to be huge this game. We, we might actually have to Enchantress this coming turn before Strange Academy, because we could wind up locking ourselves up here. They got lots of rocks. Iron Lad Rock? It's not a rock. It's a forge. Okay. We have priority. Do we go for the Cosmo Snipe on the Brood? It's risky, because if we miss... then we're not going to be able to Enchantress the Patriot. Shuri is really good right now. I haven't played her because I'm just not a huge fan of that style of deck. But she's definitely good. What do you think, Doug? Do I snipe the... Do I snipe the, uh... the Brood here with the Cosmo? Or do I just go for the Enchantress now? I'm just worried about locking up this and then moving over here and then I can't enchant this. But he's, he forged with the Iron Lad. So I gotta assume it's gonna be a brood over here. I'm going for it. Big brain. Let's go. It's an Iron Man. I God damn it. Iron Man. Enchantress would have been so good. Oh my god, Enchantress would have been devastating. Fortunately for us, we got the Dark Hawk, so we just win. 16, 16. Right? Maybe move this over here. How do we lose? They have to play something right. I guess they could play Doom. Doom's not gonna win for them. Uh they were to Ultron. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. 
So they didn't see our Dark Hawk. They know we have it. They didn't see it. We went for the snipe, we failed. But we'll take those two cubes. Subterranea is huge for us. I think we just snap. To show them, you know we got Dark Hawk, we're not fucking around. I don't care if it's not in our hand. They know we have Dark Hawk. It's my goddamn avatar, for Christ's sake. Alright, they're sticking in. They think they can take down the Dark Hawk. That's huge. If we can get Rock Slide. Forge is big as well. Alright. Now, do I try it again? The Forge. Brood left or right? Left or right? Or do I just... Lad here? I feel like I have to try. It's early enough that I can still use it to protect my Dark Hawk. No matter what lane I do. I know. You know what? We're gonna go left. Right? God damn it. There's the Sinister. Oh for 2 in my reads. Not looking great right now. And of course I'm drawing all of the rocks. Uh, let's Iron Lad mid and hope we get a rock slide. They're also Iron Ladding mid. Very good. Just absolute tragedy. America Chavez. So it got shuffled, I guess? Alright. We're just gonna have to win with Dark Hawk Mystique. Um, I guess we can do it now. This is a Cosmo, so we can do that here. And we'll see how it goes at the end of the turn. This is not great. But Darkhawk's just huge. And they can't really do anything about it with double Cosmo. What is my best draw here? Rock Slide, I'm guessing? They're opting for lots of rocks. Sulamane, thank you for the follow. Alright. We have priority, so we can't snipe an enchant- uh, we can't enchantress a, uh, patriot or anything like that. Definitely patriot incoming. Is it gonna matter, though? Fourteen. Nineteen. They're out of here. Yeah. Yeah, I know I did the order wrong there. <laughs> Just seeing if you guys were paying attention. Alright, Mindscape. I'd like some location batching now for Subterranea, please. Cavalier, alright. Go ahead and throw Jeff down. Try and keep the Pryo so we can maybe get a read with one of these Cosmos. An aggressive muster, thanks for uh, coming out. Good to see you. Hmm, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna rock slide here. No need for us to Ravona just yet, because we don't have anything in hand worth playing. Enchantress into Dark Dimension might be pretty juicy. There's the Sinister. They're not getting lucky with their Broods. They haven't drawn Brood once. Okay, we got Mystique. So, I like Enchantress in Dark Dimension.
We're gonna swap hands, so leaving them with a Ravona and a Mobius isn't terrible if we happen to draw a Dark Hawk here. Do I want to throw priority? Not just yet, right? I'm thinking we... S should we snap here? I'd feel better if we had Dark Hawk in our hand. The problem is they can kind of just win Needable here. With Iron Man. Okay, there's the Brood. Not gonna go the Iron Man route. Yeah. Alright, we got the Dark Hole. There's a high chance they have Mystique in this deck, so it's possible we could get the Mystique after our Dark Hole. Where do we play it, though? Do we go mid and try and contest? 14. But we'd be winning mid, currently. They're obviously... What are they playing this turn? I think we have to play Dark Hawk here. Just to avoid any potential... Well, they have priority, so maybe we don't need to play it there. Let's play it here. They're getting absolutely nothing from me. Oh, 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 oh. we have a liar. Interesting. What do we do here? Now, safety or aggressive mustard or dug somebody, can you tell me how Eliath works with Dark Dimension? If I played Eliath here, destroy all enemy cards played here this turn. So this doesn't get destroyed, because this was played prior to the Eliath, right? It kills only the card they play this turn. Okay. They are not playing anything. Right, they have Chavez. Is this the play? This is six, seven, nine, eleven. So we'd be at 27. I don't know what to do. It's Blue Marble. Alright, so we made the right choice there. Mystique is going to get destroyed by Eliath. It's also going to get turned off from Enchantress. I think we got him. I think we made the right choice. Nice. Victory. The Enchantress there in Dark Dimension was a good play. We're looking solid right now. No games dropped. Not out of the woods yet, but we know most of their deck. They still have three cards. What else do they have under there? Doctor Doom... Are they done? Are they just giving it up? Not as absolute. Damn, I had two crossbones? They're just done! In Game 5 of Infinity Conquest! Throwing in the towel! Giving me the free win! Wow. Look at that. I hope you see that, Owl God. They couldn't handle the sauce. The deck worked really well for us. We had a lot of huge Dark Hawks and doubled them with the Mystique. Very, very strong deck. I think there's room for refinement. I'd love to see what you guys have in mind. Feel free to leave some suggestions below what you would swap in or out and let me know. Once again, I thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoy the deck. 
And if you want to see more like this, please leave a like, please comment, and please subscribe. Lots of good stuff coming soon. Thanks again for watching.